hello 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 <laughs> another great day ahead of us today so Bubba just messaged me a little bit ago and thankfully I'm no longer with a client so um head to Lowe's get some light bulbs for the house drop those off then off to look at something for the MG I believe things are looking up for me Okay, quick car update while well, Jesse's getting the back seat ready for Jackson. Um, Thunderbird has a vacuum leak on the intercooler side. I'm going to replace the entire intercooler setup and tubing, waiting on the money. So, Thunderbird, no rush. Love the car, I like it in the garage. Motorcycle is waiting on two tires. That's $300, working on the money. Focus. My little SVT, engine's blown. I got extra parts, which I'll show you at Papa's, but yeah, en engine's blown. It's needs a whole new bottom end. I got one, it's just a matter of all the gaskets and new bearings to make it 100%. Or I may just part it out because it's, it's kind of a money thing those cars are worth more as parts than they are together and I don't know if I want to put the money into painting it and rebuilding the engine I'm kind of torn we'll see what happens Mountaineer still running that's old reliable over there and the Subaru the Subaru is coming up on its build and repairs I just um time I have so many things in the garage the lift is tied up with the MG I have the uh, that truck for Jeremy all right let's head to Papa's and I'll do more updates got Jackson in the house what's up Jackson Jackson, Jackson. hello Jackson where'd you go hey. Hey, come back here. oh hi there you are Obviously that's on the to-do list. This needs bed work, which is why we didn't put the plates on it this year. Because you can see, it's got a sag here. And what happens is these bed rails going across rot out and it makes them loose. The other side you can see better. See how it moves? It shouldn't. So. I have to do some bed repair. We haven't pulled it out yet, but I have tons of parts. I have two engine blocks, one of which shot a rod, one didn't. This is the one that shot a rod. The other one in the back did not. I got extra parts here. So I can rebuild the SVT. It's just a matter of money. And I don't know if it's worth it. I also have that green one over there. ZX3. Nothing special. Five speed. I have the transmission tour out of it for a clutch. It's coming in time. Just trying to put out fires as I can. And uh, go from there. But Papa got... Nice little delivery today from Moss Motors. You're gonna hear that word a lot with me. We had ordered this patch panel because we didn't know how far it would go. Because according to the picture, it came to the door, which would not repair the rust. So we ordered it on a whim. And sure enough, here it is. Here's our patch panel, and it works. 
covers all the rust. So that's good news for me. Whether I do it today or not, that's another story. I think today is gonna be all about these lines, brake fuel and everything in between. We got this and routed around, coming from here, goes up over. I threw in a couple clips. Just to hold it going in here. Down in, same on the other side. Coming around and in. Now we're gonna start running those up. We gotta get the gas tank one coming over to here and get that attached to the fuel pump and the other one down and up and work our way forward. Bigger than seven sixteenths. All right, Papa is tightening everything up now. We officially have brakes, and we officially have a clutch. So, definitely lots of progress. The brake is working great. The clutch is working good. You can see we got the interior cleaned out now. So, uh, another step closer. It's kind of nice that uh, if I put a gas pedal in, which is right here. If I put the gas pedal in, we can start thinking about uh, hooking that cable up and uh, hooking up the fuel lines. So fuel lines are next on the list and then I'll show you, once I get the fuel line routed, I'll show you the clean finished product. And then it's a matter of making sure the tank's in right um, because this, this is where the filler tube goes through and obviously I don't have the tube in yet. So we definitely have more to do, but tons of progress and more to come. Stay tuned guys, we're kind of working more off the camera just because there's not a lot to watch. I mean, we're blading brakes. How boring could that be on camera? We got a lot done today. Like, all, all the days of work that you do on a classic car, like, sometimes it's real fast. Like, you could do a whole bunch of stuff in one day. And then you could have a week where it doesn't look like you did anything. Well, today's one of those fast days. We got 
Patch panel welded in. The back panel was already welded in. Back there. That's welded in. That door needs redone because I haven't showed you guys yet. Remember how I told you I didn't know, like I'd never done aluminum before? See that pop right there? It's not attached. So, I have to strip down that door, uh, spray it with a different kind of primer, and then work it from there. So, don't ever think for a minute that this channel is not gonna show mistakes because uh, <laughs> I done messed up real good. But, weld it in. Still need to do the body work on it. Um, let me mosey my way through. I got a heck of a mess going on in the garage because oh, all this work, no time to clean. Obviously, you guys have seen I got this cleaned out. And those pedals, aside from the gas pedal, are functional. So the brake and the clutch both work now 100 percent we got brakes it will stop it the clutch works and it gauges and disengages um these are the electrics for each tail light they'll actually go underneath and up through into the tail light sections but i have them here just so they're not hanging in the way because i ran all the electrical up over i did with Papa, we did all the lines. So fuel line, brake line, everything's all done. Guys, tons of work got done. I'm super excited. Plenty more to come. But um, for tonight, I'm done. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the build. If not, well, I got Mustangs coming up in a few months anyway. As always, guys, we'll see you on the flip side.